Hello, boys and girls, how are you? All right, so today we're doing something totally different and totally new. The last few days we've been looking at a square that stands for each one of the words that we say, but today we're going to talk just about a word. And remember, when I show you a picture like this, I call this a word because we're talking about what we hear. We hear the word hot dog, but we see the picture. Okay, so you can also see I have a different kind of mat today. This mat has a square at the top. It has a square at the bottom. And then down here, this is our tiny little, it's kind of hard to see on the computer. Let me see if I can get it a little closer. It's that same line that we've been using, but this time it's tiny. It's got the green circle here and the red rect or the red triangle here. And we're going to be sliding from the green to the red, just like before. But you can see right above it, there's actually two lines. So this mat looks a little different than what we've been using. Let me get my pictures out of the way here. So we're going to use this and we're going to learn how to pull apart and how to blend to make new words, right? So we're going to be using this mat, like I said. Now to get us started, I want you to do what I always ask you to do, which is watch me, okay? And I know it's kind of hard to see, but this is a picture of a hot dog, all right? So this is the word hot dog. I can separate hot dog into two parts or syllables. I'm going to pull the first part of this, look at that, it's split. I'm going to pull the first part of this picture down and say hot. I'm going to pull the second part down and say dog. Okay, and now I'm going to read it, hot dog. Did you see how I did that? I'm going to do it again. So here's my word. The whole thing's all together. Oh, my, my magnets don't stick so great. Ah, there we go. Let's put that hot dog together. There he is. So there's the word hot dog. And once again, listen, I'm going to separate that word into syllables or parts. Hot dog, hot dog. Right now, let's do one together. I'm gonna get rid of this hot dog. I'm going to put something up there that we love to eat when we go to the movies. Did you guess that I was going to put up the picture for popcorn? Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Let me gonna bring it a little closer. Uh, there we go. Can you see that popcorn? A little butter on top of the popcorn. All right, so I want you to do that. this one with me. Ready? I'm going to move the pictures, and you're going to answer with me. So first I'm going to say the whole word, popcorn. This is popcorn. Say the first syllable with me as I pull it down, pop. Say the last syllable as I pull it down, corn. Now let's say the whole word, we'll blend the syllables, popcorn. All right, let's do that again, just so we get the idea of what we're doing here. Okay, this is the word popcorn, the first syllable pop, the last syllable, corn, going to blend them together and read popcorn. Okay, good job. All right, now, this is where it gets, get tricky again. All right, I'm going to use this top box. Oh, for goodness sakes, you can barely see that because the picture is a snowman and he's white against a white background. So he's a little hard to see, but trust me, this is a snowman. And for this snowman, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in place of where we had the picture before. So now, instead of pulling down parts of the picture, I'm going to pull down these blue squares, well, blue rectangles. And we've used this idea before where a blue square stands for a word. It represents a word. Okay, so we're not going to, we're going to use the rectangles to stand for the parts of the word or the syllables. All right, so watch me. I'm going to do this so that you understand what I mean. So the word is snowman. 
I can separate snowman into two syllables. I can pull the first syllable down to the line and say snow. I can pull the last syllable down and say man. And then I slide my finger under it and blend those together and say snowman. All right, so watch me again while I do it. The word is snowman. Snow, man, snowman. Right? That you kind of understand what we're doing? Let's try one together. Let me get rid of that snowman. And this time I'm going to use a an airplane. Let's put the airplane up there. Right? I'm going to move those rectangles and I want you to say it with me this time. Okay? The word is airplane. Say it with me, airplane. What's the first syllable? Air. What's the last syllable? Plane. What's the word? Airplane. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Make sure you say it with me. The word is airplane. What's the first syllable? Air. What's the last syllable? Plane. Say the word airplane. Right? Now it's your turn. I'm gonna move that back up. Let's see, this time I think we're going to use this picture. Does everybody know what that is? I love these. Rainbow. I'm gonna put the rainbow at the top. Um, I'll say this with you again, okay? Are you ready? Word, rainbow. First syllable, rain. Last syllable, bow. Blend it, say the word, rainbow. Let's do it again. I'm just gonna pull them down this time. You say the words. Rainbow, rain, bow, rainbow. I think you got it. All right, now comes the hard part. Are you ready? I'm going to put these here, but there's no picture. This time I want you to listen to the word I say, and I want you to try and do it with no picture. All right, so let's try it, ready? The word that I want you to use is mailbox. Say that with me, mailbox. Do you have a mailbox? I have a mailbox outside my house. A mailbox could be on a post, out by a street. It could be in your door. It could be a little box that sits next to your door. Lots of different things. Mailbox, but we're going to use that word. Say it again, mailbox. Say the first syllable, mail. Say the last syllable, box. Blend it and say the word, mailbox. All right, this time, no shapes, no mat. I'm going to give you a word and I want to see if you can say it. Say each part and blend it together just by listening. No pictures, no blue rectangles. Are you ready? Say cupcake. Say the first syllable. Say the last syllable. Blend it together. Say cupcake. Good job today, boys and girls. Thanks for sticking with me. We just finished up our second week and we've done a lot of talking about birds. And we just started to get into breaking words apart and blending them together. I can't wait to see what we're doing next week. Have a good weekend, and I will see you on Monday.